Hey everyone, Catherine Byers Breach, Chief Stripe Changer with Arbez. I'm here today to talk about our inner critic. You know that nasty little voice inside your head that says, who do you think you are? You're not good enough. You can't do it. Yep. That little voice who, the truth be told, has more power to hold you back in this life than anyone else. If you think about it, there are some negative Nellies and naysayers and people out there who can bring you down, but they are never as loud as those fears and those voices in your own head. And they don't have the power to tell you no. You have the power to tell you no. So today, I'm gonna to share with you, I've actually got 10 little steps that I recommend. I just did a webinar on how to release the inner critic. Uh, and it was so much fun talking with people about what they have done in the past to break down their barriers um, and what they've done to find that courage and sharing stories that I just wanted to come on today. For those of you that didn't get a chance to join me for that webinar, I want to share probably the most powerful trick that I've learned over the years to quiet my fears and step through them to do the scary things, to bring me the business and the life that I love. And I want to share that with you. Okay. So out of all the tips and tricks, the one that really made the biggest difference in my life is somebody said to me, I was probably 24 years old and I quite frankly was about to get fired. I was a terrible recruiter. I was working at a global consulting firm and I was scared and insecure and I was about to get fired and I was a wreck. And I went to somebody for advice and he looked at me and he said, what are you afraid of? And I said, I don't know, I have everything. And he said, what's the worst that can happen? And all of a sudden I looked at him and I said, well, I'm going to get fired. That's the worst that can happen. And he said, is that really the worst thing that can happen? And I said, yeah, it'd be horrible. It'd be devastating. I, I don't know how I would live with myself if I got fired. And he said, well, let's play this out. If you got fired, what would you do? And in an instant, my whole body language changed and I leaned forward and I said, well, I'd go get another job. I mean, if I got fired, I'd get another job. And at that point I was living in Minnesota, which is where I'm not from. And I said, I'll just move back to Seattle, which is also not where I'm from, but I had just moved from Seattle. I said, I'll go move back to Seattle, move in with my sister for a little bit. I'll go get a job I know I can get as a bartender or a tour guide, you know, bus driver. I'll just go get a job quickly to pay the bills while I figure out my plan B. And he looked at me and he said, my job is done. There you go. And I said, well, what do you mean your job is done? And he said, you've answered the, the, the scariest question. If you do everything right, if you try to succeed as a recruiter and you still fail and you get fired, you're actually going to be okay. You aren't going to end up on the streets. You're not going to go hungry. You're going to be okay. So that question, what's the worst that can happen, forced me to identify my deepest fear. And my deepest fear was failure and getting fired. And it also gave me the power to say, if that happens, then what? And to realize I would survive and I had a plan B. So anyway, that's my tip for you today and on how to quiet your inner critic, put her in the corner and step through your fears to achieve the things that you want to do in your life, at work, in your community, in your family, whatever it is, those things you're dreaming about. You do have the skills. You are smart enough. You are good enough. Now, it doesn't mean that it's going to be easy and it doesn't mean that you're not going to get knocked down. Lord knows I get knocked flat all the time, but I stand back up again and I get back in the game because I've learned how to face my inner critic, identify the underlying fear and deal with it. So that's your tip for the day. I hope you find it helpful and I hope that you go out and chase your dreams, whatever they are. And I tell you what, one of my favorite quotes is reach for the moon, even if you miss you'll still land among the stars. Thanks for tuning in.